what's up youtube idm here and welcome back to another jailbreak status update video i'm going to talk about the current ios 14 jailbreaks i'm also going to talk about 14.7.1 and the 14.7 vulnerability which is super awesome so as i like to mention in these videos just make sure that you check out the playlist link down in the description i keep the newest jailbreak status video at the top of that playlist at all times so if you guys are watching this in the future just be sure to check out that playlist uh, to find out what the newest information is in terms of jailbreaking and which ios versions you can jailbreak so first off i'm going to cover what the current jailbreaks are as i like to do in these videos uh, so first off we have check rain this is for iphone 10 and older so if your iOS device has a A11 chip or older, you can use CheckRain, and CheckRain works on every single version of iOS 14. From 14.0 to 14.7.1, it does not yet support iOS 15. I'm sure once we get closer to the official release of iOS 15, the CheckRain team will actually update CheckRain to work with that. So like I said, iPhone 10 and older, you can use CheckRain. Uh, I've done video tutorials on every jailbreak that I'm going to mention, so I'll leave links for everything in the description as well. Uh, we have the Uncovered Jailbreak, which supports all devices, iOS 14.0 up to 14.3, nothing newer than that currently. That is the latest versions for Uncover. If you're seeing Uncover for 14.6 or 14.7, those are scam videos. They are, they are fake videos, unfortunately. They're doing that to scam you to make money. And the same goes for Taurine. This is for all devices, iOS 14.0 up to 14.3. And those are the three current jailbreaks for iOS 14. So that brings us to the news of this video. And that is the 14.7.1 the update that Apple pushed out randomly out of the blue. And this is awesome. As you can see, here's the security content of 14.7.1 and it only fixes one thing, and that is the IO Mobile Frame Buffer, or the IOMFB. And as you can see, the impact is an application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges. Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited. The description is a memory corruption issue was addressed with improved memory handling. This is CVE 2021-308, 07 this is a vulnerability and it can be used in a jailbreak and a proof of concept has been released and it's seriously exciting so if we go into twitter here let me hop over to this tweet here by sar amar so as it turns out an lpe or local privilege escalation vulnerability i found four months ago in IOMFB is now patched in iOS 14.7.1, as in the wild. I wanted to share some knowledge and details about the bug and some ways to exploit it. Hope you'll find it useful. Check it out. So if we click on the GitHub link, here is the write-up on the vulnerability and how it could be used in a exploit. Now, I am not an iOS security researcher, but this is huge. This is going to be for iOS 14.7 and older. So presumably 14.4 to 14.7 jailbreak, hopefully, fingers crossed. There's a lot that needs to go on between, you know, now and a jailbreak. But uh, there's also been some kind, kind of confusing speculation that uh, this vulnerability cannot be useful alone. It also needs a WebKit exploit. At least that's what I've been told. Again, I am not a security researcher. I do not know exactly how these are built, but from what I understand is people are saying that it does need a WebKit exploit. I don't really know. I feel like it could be somehow hooked into an application. So basically what they're saying is the vulnerability cannot be used by itself, meaning it would not work to update, uncover, or touring with just that vulnerability alone, but it could be used with a WebKit exploit like they have for the PwnMy or Manticore website-based jailbreak that has not been released yet. This has not been released. So again, this is all speculation. Um, 
and that has people thinking that you know iOS 14.5 up to 14.7 is the better versions to be on um, and that's what I wanted to kind of talk about here because the biggest question right now from everybody is what iOS version should I be on should I update to 14.7 and I have a hard time telling you know people yes I think you should update to 14.7 because the rule of thumb when waiting for a jailbreak is to always stay on the lowest version of iOS possible so that's again what I'm going to recommend if you guys are on 14.4 stay there if you're on 14.5 stay there if you're on 14.6 stay there and of course if you're on 14.7 stay there and if for whatever reason whatever crazy reason if you are on 14.7.1, downgrade immediately to 14.7. Do not be on 14.7.1. That is the worst version of iOS 14 to be on if you want a jailbreak. Get on 14.7. It is still being signed. It's probably not going to be signed much longer after I upload this video, so you need to downgrade immediately if you're on 14.7.1. 14.7 14 looks like it's going to see support for a jailbreak, so downgrade immediately and like i said if you're on a lower version than 14.7 just stay there and save your blobs save your shsh blobs because you could use future restore to restore your iphone to 14.7 so get those blobs saved i've done a ton of videos on those on the channel here so if you guys need to see how to save blobs just search how to save blobs i'm sure i'll show up on youtube somewhere uh but that's basically it so like i said uh, we got three current jailbreaks. We got a new vulnerability for 14.7 and lower. We still have 14.7 being signed. You can still get to that version. Um, a little bit of confusion in terms of the vulnerability and how it could be used in a jailbreak. But as the story unfolds, I will be doing updated videos. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this jailbreak update video. Super exciting. We have a vulnerability. So we might be seeing updates to the jailbreaks coming soon. Hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.